$1,059 each and every month for SSI beneficiaries. Supplemental Security Income. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video, so let's get right into it. All right, now in this video, we're specifically talking about SSI, Supplemental Security Income, and one simple change to this program that would boost benefits by $1,059 per month and a standalone bill that is in Congress that would do exactly that. Let's get into it and talk through all the details. However, really fast before we do, thanks so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe right down below the video. It's totally free to do so and I'm here for you right by your side each and every day, watching the latest details, hitting the wire, doing the research and breaking it all down into these short videos so you can stay updated with what's actually going on out there and how it may impact your monthly benefits. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet and let's get into it and talk about the details of this standalone loan bill as well as one simple change to the SSI program that would impact benefits at a tune of about $1,059 per month for millions and millions of beneficiaries. It's a lot of money, especially on a monthly basis. That is about $12,000 a year. It's a lot, right? Well, let's get into it and talk through what is going on here, as well as the standalone bill, the details of what Congress has talked about, and this one simple change that is very much out of date that is actually from way back when SSI started back in 1972. So this program needs to be reformed, as we've talked about so many times in other videos, but let me break down the details of this. So. Here's what's going on. Now, obviously right now in 2023, as I record this video, the maximum benefit for a single person is, or what I should say is an individual, is $914. Obviously you know that. However, the maximum benefit for a married couple receiving SSI is $1,371. That's a difference of $457. My point is on that is that an individual is getting, as you see there, $914. A married couple is getting uh, $1,371. Again, a huge, huge difference between benefits. However, we do know this much. Congress wants to remove the marriage penalty, okay? Many of you here in the community are very aware of the marriage penalty. This is a really bad one. This has been in play since 1972 as the program was uh, brought into fruition back then. They had this thing that basically they said, let's add this marriage penalty. Basically, if you're married and you're receiving SSI, you're going to be penalized by your benefit and they're going to reduce it in a pretty substantial way. Well, as a result of that, as of recently here over the last couple of years, we've seen a number of different lawmakers coming out suggesting, why is the marriage penalty even in here? Why are we punishing people for being married? Why are we reducing benefits significantly? for people who are married that are receiving fixed income benefits. This makes no sense whatsoever, which is many of, uh, the reason why many of us here in the community have been asking the exact same thing for many years as well. Why is this happening? Why is this there? And why has it not been removed yet? This is nuts. This is, you know, completely out of date. Okay, fine. Well, as a result of this, here's what it comes down to. So in the event that the marriage penalty would be removed, now check this out, this would be a difference of $1,059 a month. Now here's what's happening. This in conjunction with another change that they also wanna do, which is raising benefits up to the federal poverty line. So there's a couple different moving parts here, but these are a few things that Congress wants to do and there are standalone bills in Congress to do exactly this. So check this out. Let's just say that they raise benefits up to the federal poverty line. Right now, the federal poverty line is $14,590 a year or a little bit over $1,200 a month. That raised benefits for the average SSI beneficiary from the maximum benefit of 914 right now, raising it up by a little bit over $300 a month up to that over $1,200 a month, $1,215. $1,215 a month is what the federal poverty line is right now on a monthly basis. Now get this, so that is one thing that they wanna do and we know that they've talked about it in uh, quite a bit of detail before and there are bills in Congress to do this, okay? So that is number one, raising the benefit up to the federal poverty line. Now next, at the same time, removing the marriage penalty, which is again, a lot of lawmakers wanna do this. They've talked about it many times now. Why they haven't done it yet is still very confusing to me. This would be so easy for them to do. It would take like zero effort on their part and we know Congress, they love to do that takes they love to do things that take no effort, right? So <laughs> this would be right up their alley to do something like this. It would take them like no time at all and it would take them like no effort, right? So anyway, as a result of this, 
If they boost benefits up to the federal poverty line and they remove the marriage penalty, now this will translate into an extra $1,059 per month for that married couple who was the getting uh, who was getting the maximum benefit of $1,371 a month. Now we could potentially be uh, doubling the individual benefit of the new $1,215 in the event that the benefits are raised up to the federal poverty line, boosting that up to $2,439 a month. That'd be a difference of $1,059 from the $2,430 of, as in the federal poverty line doubled per individual up to that uh, maximum amount. Uh, uh, basically, the difference of that compared to the $1,371 of what it is right now for a married couple. You kind of see what I'm saying there? It's a difference of $1,059 a month. So my point is, this is not that hard for Congress to do. This is something that we know that many lawmakers want to do, both of these. So they want to do this. Raising the federal pov or raising benefits up to the federal poverty line, number one, and then removing the marriage penalty. This is all it would really be. Anything like this, any uh, combination of this, and it would be a huge, huge change to the SSI program. It would raise benefits for millions of beneficiaries. And you can clearly see, even if they didn't remove the marriage penalty, just boosting benefits up to the federal poverty line would be a huge, huge change. That would boost benefits to $1,215 a month as the maximum benefit for an SSI beneficiary. Okay, now just get this. Let's just say that they do that and they also remove the marriage penalty at the same time, which again, there's so much uh, there's so much support for that in Congress right now. That would immediately boost the maximum benefit for a married couple up to $2,430, $2,430 a month. And again, that'd be a difference of $1,059 in the event of that happening versus where the maximum benefit is right now for a married couple of $1,371. And that is not that much for a married couple to live on. For two people to live on $1,370 a month, it can be done, but it's probably pretty tight. I mean, I know for a fact that it's tight. I've talked to many people here in the community. I've had conversations with some of you here in the community that receive fixed income benefits, that receive these benefits exactly in this situation and are who are actually being penalized because of the marriage penalty. Tough stuff right there, right? Yeah, I know, right? I've, I've talked to some of you here in the community. I know exactly what you're talking about. And again, I don't want to sit here and act like, oh, I know exactly what you're dealing with. I'm going to be real with you. I do not receive SSI, okay? But again, we've done, uh, we've done a ton of research on this. And again, I've talked to those people here in the community, and this is a real thing. Tough situation. $1,300, well, to be exact, $1,371 a month as a maximum benefit. That's tough. That's to pay rent. Again, the average rent right now is $1,300 a month. That's the average rent right now. So basically, that would leave a married couple $71 for the rest of the month. Could you live on $71 for the rest of the month? Probably not. Um, probably not. I, there's just no other way to put it. There's just no way that could be done, right? That's the averages. Anyway, hope this one helps you. But again, I want to break the down uh, the details of this, the differences here, and show you the magnitude behind a couple simple changes to the SSI program, what this would really mean for millions of beneficiaries who fall into this category. Regardless if somebody is married or not and actually experiencing the penalties from the marriage, uh, you know, the, the marriage penalty, whether that's a real thing or not, even just the simple changes of raising benefits up to the federal poverty line, as they've talked about so many times now, just doing that one simple change would dramatically increase benefits for millions of beneficiaries at a tune of about 33%. That's a lot, right? That'd be a huge increase. Just imagine, just, just imagine this. Let's just say, for example, they come out one year and they say, hey, the COLA this year uh, going into next year is going to be a 33% increase. Would we all be like jumping off, you know, jumping all around and like super excited? That'd be a huge, huge increase, a 33% increase. Well, that is what the difference would be between current benefits right now, as in the maximum benefit for an SSI beneficiary, if they just raised it up to the federal poverty line, it'd be an increase of 33%. Again, can you see the magnitude behind this? So just that one simple provision right there, that one simple change to the program would boost benefits this much. And again, removing the marriage penalty, which actually has e even more support in Congress to do that alone. Here you go. You can clearly see the magnitude behind this, an extra $1,000 plus on top of that every single month, okay? It's a huge, huge difference from where beneficiaries are currently sitting right now. And we know that the SSI program, unfortunately, even though it's great, it's very, very out of date, right?
That kind of rhymed right there. You like that? It's great, but it's out of date. I don't know. <laughs> this sounds pretty good. I should probably end on a good note. So let's leave it there for now. <laughs> if you like that, make sure to subscribe down below. It's totally free to do so. I'm here for you in any way that I can be. Please make sure to subscribe, share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, enjoy your day. Always leave your comments, your questions, your feedback down below. Again, I do my best to read as many as I can. And of course, continue doing all the research for you and bringing it to you in these short videos each and every day. So enjoy, have a good one, and Catch you again later in the next